so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It is 100% inspired by our brand new What's Your Fantasy collection that just launched for spring over at lifestacker.com and I know I say this a lot, but this is my favorite collection of all time, mainly because I'm such a spring girl. Spring is my aesthetic. I live for spring colors, the spring color story. Just all of our spring collections have always been my absolute favorite and this one might be the number one. And honestly, it's because I've become so freaking obsessed with all things romanticy and fantasy and fairies and fae and the magic of Akatar <laughs> and other romanticy books. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm officially part of romanticy book talk. Please come join me. It's wonderful here. You meet a lot of friends. Which, by the way, I know this collection launched last week, so I'm super late in posting this video. I usually like to post like the day we launch, but it's been a crazy few days, so forgive me on when I'm posting this. <laughs> And honestly, this is the first time we ever do six full shades that have a very beautiful specialty finish. And I wanna dive into the collection and talk about the names and the color story because so many of you guys have been asking me to talk about collections in this way again, like I used to do in my YouTube videos. So that is what we are doing today. I'm gonna put a little thing right here that lets you know when the tutorial starts just in case you do not care about our What's Your Fantasy collection and you just wanna see this look. You can fast forward to it right here and you can skip all this fantasy crap. Okay, so first of all, Yes, 100%. The name of the collection was inspired by the Ludacris song. I know that is so far from what the aesthetic <laughs> and the vibe is, but you know, it's the perfect name. What's your fantasy? What's your fantasy? But I gotta know what, what's your fantasy? Mine is the High Lord of the Night Court. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but that's my fantasy. And in fact, when I think of the High Lord of the Night Court, I sing, I wanna lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes, and I wanna, let me stop singing before I get copyrighted. <laughs> We wanted something that really encapsulated just fantasy in general. And that's why this theme feels also so storybook, with like the little moss and the mushrooms. It's just giving me a little spring story on a bookshelf. And you cannot tell me that this is not giving spring court. This is not giving Elaine Archeron. I know she's our least favorite sister, <laughs> okay? But this collection, spring court, magic, just, ugh. Oh, I know we sold out of the PR box rather quickly, but guys, this was so expensive for us to make that we really could only purchase like a handful of them. And at first we were only gonna do them for PR, but I just love giving you guys the chance to buy the PR box too, cause it's just so fun. And it's not just for PR, it's for the customers too. And I just wish we had more money so we could have bought more. <laughs> but the love that you guys gave the PR box, I literally cannot thank you enough. We still have a ton of bundles on the site, by the way, the full collection, the tattoos, the dew drops, everything besides the PR box is still available and guys, Look at these nail art tattoos. Our nail art tattoos are killing it right now. Nail stickers are all the rage, but they're just not as good as tattoos. The whole process on how to apply them, they just look so seamless. Tattoos are just perfect. And this is the first time that we actually launched these 3D dew drops, and they are so freaking cool. It literally looks like you have water drops all over your nails. So easy to apply. They're stickers, you just plop them on, and they're 3D, and ah, so cool. <laughs> this collection was so much fun. Really quickly, I'm just gonna walk you through all the shades and the name inspo, and then we can get onto this tutorial, I promise. I'm gonna start with my favorite one. This is Fairy Floss. If you are familiar with our Diamonds Are Forever polish, it is our number one selling polish of all time on Light Slacker. This is a pink version of it, so it has that same diamondy shimmer formula, but it's the softest, most beautiful pink. I'm wearing it like on my pointer here. I am truly obsessed with this. It is the perfect like ballerina fairy pink. I love it. And of course we named it after Cotton Candy. Not that Cotton Candy has anything to do with fantasy, once upon a time story or anything like that, but I love that they call it fairy floss. So we had to. Fairy floss, that's so cute. Guys, you need Trust in Pixie Dust, okay? This is the perfect lavender polish with an intense golden shimmer in it. It looks like eyeshadow, like the most beautiful eyeshadow you would apply to your eyes. It is stunning, so beautiful. The glitter in this is so special because it's not chunky whatsoever. It is a flat glitter flat glitter. We've never done a formula like this. It's truly so, so special. And of course, we had to get that name from Peter Pan, Trust in Pixie Dust. Come on. Tinkerbell, she's our favorite fairy. Ever After is actually the exact same formula as Trust in Pixie Dust, only it's a completely different color and glitter. This is a soft powder blue with an intense pink glitter shift. It honestly looks like a freaking Cinderella castle. This is exactly what Cinderella would wear on her nails. This is a Cinderella blue. And that's why we had to name it Ever After because first of all, that is the fireworks show name. In Disney World, it's called the Ever After Fireworks Show and it's on the castle and it's perfect. But it's also like they lived happily ever after and so much. Oh. The names are everything. Wings and Things is so incredible. This is a really pretty glazed pink nail polish that has an intense green shift. It was honestly inspired by this picture right here. When we were making this collection, we saw this photo and we were like, we need a polish 
just like that, which is why we named it Wings and Things, because of these wings and things. If you are an Akatar stan like me, you need high fae. I actually don't have it right now because I left it at my dad's house. It is the perfect topper. This is the shade that will go on absolutely anything on top of any nail polish and completely transform it. It's transparent, but it has an intense teal shift that doesn't even look real. It's spectacular. I'm not just saying that. It is spectacular and it's our number one selling shade out of this whole collection. And I have a feeling it has to do with the fact that it is named high fae because just like the Akatar people they just get me they just get me and if you love the high fay you need high fay okay and then last but not least we have la luna which was inspired by la luna moth which if you google that they are the most stunning beautiful moths i've ever seen in my life and this is a sheer holographic shimmer polish this is another polish we've never done before we don't really have a formula like this where it's a jelly polish that has shimmer in it but the shimmer happens to be holographic and super finely milled them it just kind of turns any shade into a green holographic it is insane Truly so stunning and in the sunlight, this is unreal next level. If you love green, you will love that. I still think though, these tattoos are my favorite. My favorite thing in the whole collection. But okay guys, that's what's your fantasy and now let's get into this spring fantasy makeup look. I want to do something with this lipstick. <laughs> I just don't know what I want to do with it. It's not going to stay there, okay? Just ignore it for now. Oh my god. I just realized the alien poodle is here. No, no, no. We cannot have that. Oh my gosh, by the way, I have had so much coffee today. And you know what? I need to make a bow. I need to make a bow. I need to go back to decaf. The hamster is running so fast in my brain. The wheel cannot keep up. But really quickly, I'm going to throw on my Grossier. This is going to be an interesting video. My Glossier Brow Flick and my Rare Beauty Brow Gel. This is the best combination of all time. Okay, we're back. Also, if you see a great cast in my hair, that's all the dry shampoo I just put in it. This video is starting off great. Also, the lighting sucks because it's very dark outside. It's already 7 p.m., so... I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I just know I want it to be fairy-inspired. I just hope I find out along the way, you know? I'm gonna take my Tower 28 Serum. This is my favorite primer. I know it's not a primer, but I use it as a primer and it's the best. Every foundation I put on top of this looks so smooth. I'm gonna go in with the foundation I used in a recent video. I love this. I love this so much. I've been using it every single day. This is the Catrice Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation and it's so good. It has hyaluronic acid. It's affordable. And I love how much coverage you get with it being such a thin foundation. It feels like nothing on the skin, but a little goes a long way and it covers a lot. Like I did my whole face with that drop. I really, really like it. It's so good. Really quick, I'm gonna apply some concealer. I'm going in with the Kristen Dominique concealer, my trusty, dusty Dominique concealer. Okay, so I wanna go in with a subtle color in my crease. So I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. palette. It's the Perfect 10 eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take this pinky nude right here and add a little bit of this into my crease just for some dimension. Okay, so I love these Prismetal Chrome eyeshadows from JCAT. I've spoken about them for years on my channel. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know. But they're a moussey, creamy formula, kind of similar to ColourPop Super, super shock shadows. But this is even moussier, even creamier, a little bit stickier and tackier in general. So I'm gonna take the shade Holography Types. Holography types and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid because I'm using this as a sticky base For the shimmer I'm about to put down instead of going in with a glitter glue I'm using this which these are perfect as bases for loose pigments glitter glue No glitters <laughs> anything of that nature because it's so tacky so you get a nice base for your glitter But also a really pretty color and I'm just basically putting this shade everywhere since it has more of a transparent finish. It just has like this pearlescent pink purple flip, but you can't really tell unless you see it in person. But I'm just using this as my base all over my lid. And now I'm going in with these two pigments. Are they glitters or pigments? I want to say they're like pigments. They're like flakes, like little pigment flakes. <laughs> 
no, they're not pigments. They're glitters, little flakes. <laughs> What am I saying? So this is from the brand Kaima Cosmetics. This is one of those brands that went viral on TikTok and everybody was using these little glitters and pigments, so I bought some. And today I'm gonna use Carnival and Prophetic. And I'm going to attempt somewhat of a halo eye, but with these shades. So I'm gonna take the pink in the center and then put the blue on the outer corners. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. <gasps> Oh, I wish you were seeing this in person. I promise in person it's magic. It's just pure magic. I am really into glitters these days, if you can't tell based off of my channel. <laughs> okay, that was prophetic. I'm going in with Carnival on the outer and inner corners. Now this one is different because these are like shards of glitter. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, that looks like a mosaic window. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That is crazy pants. <gasps> what? The pink in the middle definitely has finer glitter. Wow, cool. Okay, let me quickly do that to this eye. Okay, I swear I wish you could see this in person. It is freaking epic. Like this glitter is insane. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Pro Conceal from LA Girl, but this is the highlighter one. It's not the white one. The white one is like a flat white, this highlighter shade is white but it has a little bit of a pearl finish and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone just a little bit. Okay, I added some of that white to my inner corners as well. Hear me out. What if I add some pearls to my face? <laughs> that gives off fairy, right? We have these nail gems that are launching in June. Spoiler alert. Oh, this is a big, this is a big secret. We're launching a bridal collection in June. <gasps> Nobody knows that. I literally just spilled the beans. Oh my god, my team is gonna be so mad. But these are the nail gems that are coming out with that collection and you have diamonds, pearls, and like little iridescent droplets in here. So I'm gonna take some of these little pearls and I'm gonna put them on my face. And I'm just gonna do it kind of like scattered throughout my face here. And of course, you cannot add gems to your face without your freaking light slacker wax pen. I'm gonna tilt my, I'm gonna tilt my what? I'm gonna take my Mel Cosmetics lash glue and pop on these pearls. It's giving mermaid more than fairy, but <laughs> let's keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna take the little iridescent ones and add them as well, because I feel like just doing pearls is too mermaid. Okay, I just curled my lashes. I'm going in with the Benefit Fan Fest. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, eyes are done. I feel like I'm about to go to a rave party. This, this is some like Miami Ultra shit on my eyes. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna take the Merit Bronze Balm in the shade Leo and just contour. And I'm using this because it's so natural. I don't really want to do a chiseled look. Just want to add a little bit of something. Okay, I want a very soft, delicate blush. So I'm gonna take Behave from NARS. This is one of their Afterglow liquid blushes. And I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand first because I'm a scared. I want this blush because it's so dewy and soft, very fairy-like. The formula of these blushes is so good. It's so, so soft and delicate, but glowy. Pretty beautiful, I love it. Okay, I typically would not highlight, but I'm gonna take a little bit, a little bit of this Wet n Wild highlighter. This is the collab with Marilyn Monroe, which is funny because I'm going to apply it with the Wet n Wild collab with scooby -Doo. This shit is diamonds on the cheeks, okay? So I just wanna add a little bit right here. Like a little fairy. She was a fairy. This highlight is so freaking good. Also going in my inner corners. 
I hate the face I make when I'm putting on makeup, I'm sorry. Since my under eyes are so glowy with that blush and that highlight, I'm gonna take this NARS powder that's just gonna mattify this area so that there's not too much shine going on. See the difference that made? Honestly, I'm just trying to use any translucent powder. It doesn't have to be this. I feel like I should do a little line, like a wing, but like a little line. Okay, I did that <laughs> with the Milani Stay Put Tank Eyeliner in black. Now, will this one look the same is the question. Honestly, my mascara blocks it, but still. Oh boy. Oh no, that looks terrible. Wait, I can fix that. I can never do shit on this eye. Okay, did I fix that? Mm -hmm. This is the Brow Food Chamomile Makeup Eraser Pen. Godsend. Let me just try to make this one the same. Okay, I actually like connect it. Okay, more or less, more or less. Probably less. Probably less. Okay, I swear I didn't do this on purpose. I just picked them both out, I swear. For my lip, I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Worthy. On top, I'm going in with the Rode Peptide Lip Tint in Jelly Bean. I'm obsessed with these. I'm sorry. I'm on the road train, choo-choo. These made me a believer. These made me a believer, okay? The shade Ribbon is so good, such a pretty pink. The pigment in these is just so good. And this one in the shade Jelly Bean smells like jelly beans. Oh, it smells so good. And it has a really pretty glitter to it. It's transparent, but it has a little bit of like a pinky shimmer, and I'm obsessed. I love these, I love these so much. I know I did a similar lip combo for my birthday, but I just can't get enough of jelly bean. Actually, ribbon would look really cute on this. Wait, adding some ribbon. Ugh, ribbon might be my favorite one. It's just the pigment is so even. All right, let's put on some setting spray. My surf proof, always. I'm running out of this. I need some more. Okay guys, that's it. That completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed hearing about our spring collection and I hope you check us out. Thank you so much for all the love and support you've given us on this collection. It means the world to me. And I can't wait for you guys to get these shades in person and play around with them and put them on your nails. They are just so magical in person. That completes this video, guys. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.